Today's quiz involves four ramps. They're of different curves, but they all start and end at the same place. We simply want to know if I were to take one of these metal spheres, one of these ball bearings, and let it roll down to the bottom. When it gets to the bottom, which one would have the greatest velocity? Here's what your quiz looks like. I'll hold that up for you now. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and be sure to list your confidence. Student responses vary wildly. Some will say the red is absolutely going to be going the fastest because it's got the steepest slope, especially at the end where it really matters. Others will say this yellow has a slow and steady and it's going to have the greatest acceleration and therefore it's going to be going the fastest at the bottom. Others will say, no, 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 blue gets going fast and stays fast for a very long time. It's going to be the fastest. Others will say green. While they all are going to be varied in their ideas, they're all going to be incredibly confident in their own ideas, which is so interesting because they're all confident, but yet none of them agree. All right, let's see if we can explain this. Part of being a physicist or a scientist is not to be bamboozled. And that's really what we're doing here. Because if you think about the conservation of energy, and they're all starting with the same exact amount of energy, we would expect them to have the same amount of energy, maybe in a different form, down at the bottom. So they should all be going the same speed. Let me see if I can set this up and we'll show you. I'm zoomed out so you can see the photo gate. Now I have a single photo gate, which is gonna to try to uh, measure a round object. We have a long form lesson that talks about the difficulty of that. Let's not worry about that right now. And let's just assume as long as the ball is going through the gate the same every time, it should give us a relative uh, measure of the velocities. Our problem is as each one of these spheres comes off the ramp, they tend to bounce and they can bounce over the beam. So we have a little piece of paper and some cardboard underneath here to smooth out that transition. What I'll do, I'll hit collect, I'll roll five down the red, and then I'll move the photo gate over, and then I'll put five spheres down the green and let it go through the photo gate and so on. And we will see how the velocities correspond. I'll hit collect and we'll get started. One, two, three, four, five the photo gate over. I'll get five more and we'll try the green. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see right away that they appear to be about the same. Let's try our yellow. Five more spheres. One, two, three, four, five. Again, looking very similar. And I'll move this over here. And let's try our board. I'm trying to release them at the same point on the ramp, despite their color difference. And that's fine. And I think we can clearly see that all of the velocities are about the same, as they should be. Because if you use the conservation of energy, we know that potential is gonna be converted into kinetic. And if they all start with the same potential energy, they should end up with the same kinetic energy, and therefore you should have the same overall velocity. That's why the conservation of energy is such a wonderful tool. It's so simple. All right, that's your quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with 
other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.